Hey what's up, my name is Severman and welcome back to another video on my channel. So last Friday Fablers dropped a new track on Revealed Radar and it's called The Middle with Anthony Meyer and when I listened to it the first time I immediately had the melody stuck in my head and so I ended up in FL Studio remaking the melody and I thought okay let's turn this into a full drop remake so let's check it out. So this is what the remake sounds like and again I really really liked the original track and that's why I thought okay you know what let's make a remake for you guys, drop remake. So as usual you can grab this one for one euro, check out the first link in the description for that. But now let's start with the individual sounds, let me show you how I made this remake. So we have the leads at the top as like most of my remakes and I bounce out the leads actually so this will be the original pattern at the top but then just to save some CPU usage or how you call this I just bounce them out and uh, yeah so individually or solely the leads sound like that And if we check the individual layers, you can tell that I use a lot of Spire for the leads in this remake. So three, four, five, five Spires, and then we got one, two Nexus presets. So let me show you how they individually sound. So it's the first one. So as you can tell, the leads are routed to the second channel. So let's check out the processing. Like I didn't do crazy processing actually in this FLP. But yeah, let's check this one out. So this is the high end low cut again. Uh, yeah, low cut at 200 hertz this time. And as always high cut at 16K hertz. Then we got a second EQ. So with this one I boosted the, like the top frequencies, the higher frequencies a bit higher mids as well. And we got a stereo enhancer and with this one I made the leads less wide because I referenced to the original track and that's why I made this decision. Then we got a low pass filter for automation, namely the automation clips are down here so check these out. I think this is for the sidechain the first one. Then the second one is low pass filter automation for leads I think. So that's basically what this automation is doing with the filter. Then we got yeah, the sidechain, it's the last effect. So I felt like when I checked the original track, oh, this is also something which I feel like uh, Felbers generally does, that he doesn't pull a whole lot of sidechain on his leads, I think, which is really cool. I really, I really like his sound and he definitely has some kind of signature sound, you can say, I think, in my opinion. So this is all I can say about the leads. Now let's check out the bass line. This one sounds like that. So for the sub bass again, we got Spire. So I use a lot of Spire in this project. Then I have two mid basses. And this first one is also from Spire. Third one as well. And yeah, the sub bass is routed to channel four on the sub bass. Uh, no, wait, this is the wrong channel. So sub bass channel. On here I actually did this EQing, but then I decided to actually cut out the top frequencies with this low pass filter, so that we only have the sub frequencies left. As you can tell. And then again we got the side chain. Then let's check out the mid bases. So these are routed to channel 5. And as you can tell, these now only have actually mid and high frequencies, mids and highs. So 
So on here, the first EQ is doing this. It's cutting away the lows because that's what we have in the sub bass. Then um, I added a distortion plugin. I just used the fruity fast distortion from FL Studio in order to make them more aggressive. I think they sound quite aggressive in the origin track, which again, I really liked. And uh, then we have an EQ. With this one, I boosted the high frequencies again a bit, around five, six kHz. Then we have another EQ. And with this one, I again took out some of those lower frequencies, as you can tell. Then I also boosted the 700 Hz a little bit, just to sort of give them the more body in the mix. Then I added this effector FX module, it's called from FS Studio as well. And this one um, adds some sort of resonating um, character to the mid basses. So without this one, it would sound like that. And now with it on, it sounds like that. Like it's not doing a crazy difference as I have it set to like 15%, but it still adds a little bit of that nice resonating character to it. Like sometimes you want to actually cut these frequencies out, but sometimes it also helps to actually add resonating frequencies to the sound in order to make it pop out a little more in the mix. And then again, the last effect is the sidechain. Then we have some piano chords. So for the first piano, I used two pianos. Then the second one is from Nexus, the ballad grand piano. And these two are rooted to the third channel. And for the pianos, I did this EQing. So it's quite crazy right here. But yeah, again, I, I just reference it to the original track. And based on that, I made these decisions right here. So this is always very individual. So I wouldn't recommend to put this type of EQing on every piano. This just works in this case. Then we got a stereo enhancer. And again, with this one, I made them less wide. Then I use OTT in order to compress them a little bit. And then we got, again, a low pass filter. So the like I'm using it for the same kind of automation that I showed you for the leads. And then again, last effect, sidechain. So that's it with the pianos. And then I added a saw synth to the chords as well in order to make the chords a bit more rich. So this one is rooted to channel nine. And then on here, I again cut out all the lows because I only wanted to have the mids and the highs in this one. Then I boosted the 800 Hertz a little bit also to give it some more body. And I also boosted the 2K Hertz a little bit as well as the 7K Hertz a bit. And then again, we got a low pass filter for the automation as well as the sidechain. And then I added an ARP to it. So for the ARP again, I used a preset from Spire. And with this one, I rooted it to the sixth channel. And here again, I uh, reduced the lows and I also reduced the lower mids around four or 500 Hertz a bit. And then I boosted the high frequencies and then sidechain again and this volume plugin for automation. Then we got a Hoover. Do, do you call this Hoover? I don't know, Hover. Um, this is basically a sustained super saw, which I added. just adds this harmonic to the drop because it emphasizes this one note because it's obviously um, yeah like long sustained and then that's pretty much it with the like the melodic stuff um, yeah in here I added a sub drop because that's what's in the original track as well so it's just a sub drop from Vengeance I think and then down here we got the drums. So let me show you these, like the drums and FX sounds combined.
So yeah, these are the drums and the fig sounds. And first of all, we got the kick drum. I just used the like the basic vengeance kick drum. And then I added this downlifter right here, which is already sidechained. Then I added a clap and a right. I think it's both already combined in the sample, in the rhythm of the melody. Then we have a reverse crash. Then I added a clap to it. And we have two more downlifters. And then I added an ambience voice type of sound. And a second one. Then we have two snares right here. And then in the second half of the drop, I added some hardwell shakers to it. And that's then pretty much it with this remake. So on the drums, there isn't really any processing that I could show you. So yeah, I didn't even root them to the mixer. I only have the kick in here. So yeah, that's it with this FLP. So let me play it again to you now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little remake of Fabulous' new track on Revealed Radar. And again, as always, you can grab this one for one euro, check out the first link in the description. And also the presets are included in this pack and they're in a separate folder. So if one of the presets doesn't load properly, you can just drag them into the plugin from the folder, which is included. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did so. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. And also they're in uh... So yeah, I hope you like this. So yeah, I hope you like this remake. I hope so yeah, I hope you like this re